Greetings my esteemed audience. In this fine video I will show my standard yoga routine. Now first and foremost a disclaimer there is a lot more to yoga than these poses and stretches so it would be similar as if I talked about gym training or natural bodybuilding and I only showed footage of me doing deadlifts or I talked about MMA and I only showed me doing pad work or something like that. So similar stuff here. There's a lot more to yoga than just these poses. There's a philosophy behind it as well. For enjoyers of my book reviews, perhaps you've read my review of Julius Evola's The Yoga of Power. So anyway, that being said, as you see before you right now, this is my standard pose right here. So the tree, I'm doing it slightly modified because I I gain a better connection in my back, in my lats, so that's why I do it there. Then of course I need to pose as well, I just can't help myself, I need to do it. So anyway, this is my standard thing, so standing on one leg there and then stretching the arms up and uh, connecting them and you can't see it from this angle but I lock in my lats in a really nice way so I get a good stretch. The proper way to do it is actually to stretch your arms or your hands rather up towards the sky. So this is how I do it. I do this basically every day. Now of course this was recorded in summer. Now it's autumn. It's taken me a while to get around to do this. So there I'm doing some grounding as well. If you can do some grounding it has a ton of health benefits. So I'm simply standing barefoot on the face of Mother Earth most respectfully. There you can see me channeling the energies from both the ground and the sky, so the earth goddess and the sky father coming down, filling me with power. It can also be good to just stretch your arms like that. So there you see me from the back and there you see better, you get a better angle of me locking my lats and my arms so I get a nice, a nice stretch on my lats there. Same thing, alternating the legs, there I'm standing on my right leg, getting some good balance, just you know, Enjoying the moment, enjoying breathing in some nice good air, connecting with the sky, with the earth. And um, yeah, trying to keep the balance there and enjoying myself. And then stretching out the arms and then I'm switching the leg there, shaking my arms a bit to get a bit fresh there as well. And then up and connect the hands and standing there and again enjoying this moment for myself in nature. You can do it indoors of course as well if you want. So this is essentially my main exercise, my main asana, my main stretch I do on a daily basis. So you can do it first thing in the morning, getting some nice energies throughout your entire body. And there you see me at a different place so aesthetic by the lake there. I just had to get it into this fine video as well. Again connecting to this fine rock as well and looking out, absorbing the nice nature, stretching out my arms there and uh, switching the leg. Might take a few attempts to uh, get accustomed to going up, keeping the balance on one leg like this, but uh, you will soon get the hang of it. And now this is also a stretch I do basically every day. It's very important if you sit down a lot. So this is to just stretch out your your entire body basically. It's super good for doing squats in the gym, which you should do. It's a great exercise. And also if you want to be able to do high kicks, if you train martial arts, you can do this simple exercise. So you see I'm really getting deep in a squat position there and just pointing up towards the heaven. So yeah, that was it. That was my standard yoga routine. It's not particularly elaborate, but that also means that I can do it every day in a convenient way. So it doesn't take all too long. It's only a matter of minutes. And if you do it every day, it will feel good. A good way to start the morning uh, or you can do it later in the day as well. So yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And uh, if you do any yoga, let me know in the comment section below. Always nice to hear new perspectives about it. Now all that being said, do check out all the links in the description box below. Do read Demigod Mentality and do read Dauntless. XOXO, boom!